Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat and we are back in Portal Knights. Alright, so here's the deal guys, I lied to you guys and I'm sorry about that. I said in the last episode I, I was going to mine up a whole bunch of titanium. And I was going to build some chests to sort out my inventory and... You know, do and do stuff like that, you know, off camera and stuff. And I didn't get a chance to because we had some errands to do. And the errands were, I had to go buy some, um, a new, what happened? Oh, it's unequipped. But I had to go buy us a new mower with our tax money that we got back. And we, uh, I got a new mower, a new weed eater. Because my, the gas line on my weed eater, or weed whacker, or whatever you may call it, like rotted away. And it stopped drawing, you know, the fuel. And I know I could probably buy a re replacement part for that, but it started leaking everywhere, and I just said, what ifs? I got me a battery-powered weed eater. It may not be as powerful. And we got ourselves a new lawnmower. One of those old-style lawnmowers, because my lawnmower died. It still runs, but it has... It, like, revs up really, really, really high, and it becomes real scary. So what I'm going to do in this episode is, uh, we know we can't take on that boss because in that last episode, the, uh, Watcher, he kicked my butt really quickly, by the way. And I was going to do, since this is the last episode of this week, I'm going to play it off camera and I'm going to try and build, I'm going to lose a lot of money this way, by the way, because I'm going to die several times and I know it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build an arena around that platform where that boss is so I feel a little safer on fighting him because that area is unsafe. Really unsafe. As you see that platform you have to fight him on, there's other mobs spawning on there. There was a skeleton dude on there and there was the platform's really small and uneven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build an arena around him. So that means going to destroy a world somewhere. And get a huge amount of blocks. Probably one of the really early worlds where it doesn't matter because the enemy is going to be really weak. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt anything. And a world that's not so pretty or something I want to build on later on. So I'm okay with that. So one world will be pretty much destroyed to get the blocks required to build an arena. And I gotta figure out how to fight him because it said the key into fighting him is to his minions. This gives him power. But if you saw that I was using these daggers, the ones I found in the last episode, and I was still doing okay in amount of damage, over 100 damage and whatnot, but they took a lot of hits. And I didn't. I didn't take any hits. I was like, I was pretty much dead right off the bat. Might go check out that guy's quest over there. Because if you remember that last episode, though, I did a quest in the last world, not here. And that gave me 15,000 EXP. That's why I say it's good to do quests in this game. Yeah, there are, a lot of them are fetch quests or build them something, but at the same time, that's some serious EXP gain. And I do need to level up something, something bad. I'm only level 25 now. And I should not be that level when I am fighting a boss that's almost level 30. I think he was level 28. And I'm like, nope, that's not going to happen. So it's probably best to level up. So that's what I'm going to do in this episode. We're going to just chat a little while, level up, do some quests. I'll, do, I'll save the, uh, the uh, inventory management stuff off camera. Nobody wants to watch that. Like building new chests and whatnot. I still want to know what these moon moon opals are for. Now I don't know how long I'm going to be recording this episode for. I'm gonna to try to go as long as I can, like my normal time frames. But I looked at the weather. Weather coming up here where I live, and man, there is a uh, this says severe thunderstorms for. A at 1 a.m. all the way to 9 a.m. in the morning all night long and I do not feel safe running my computer because where I live is near the uh, tornado alley 
and we get some pretty severe thunderstorms where in a moment all of your electricity gets knocked out and running a computer recording and all that and rendering and all that hoo-ha definitely will you know damage my pc in some way and i just don't want that to happen or if that happens i will not be able to record any episodes for you guys nobody wants that people want some awesome adventures i'm getting stuck right here what uh, this tree i still don't know what those crystal threads are for i haven't found anything that required them just yet Mo, well, you are a chatterbox aren't you i'm gonna i i think i'm gonna call him jonesy i did mention in the last episode i do like the movie aliens franchise with sigourney weaver and whatnot and her cat in the second movie is called Jonesy. And in the first movie. So I'm going to call him Jonesy. He is orange. And if you look at Sigourney Weaver's cat in the movie, it was orange as well. So there you go. Nobody watched my this the, my latest episode. And because of that, nobody gave me a comment saying, Hey, this is the name you should give your cat. Well, I made the, I made the name myself. Now, unless you guys uh, do see this video and you want to give me uh, some suggestions, then I'll do that then. Oh, is that going to fall through? That looks like it's going to fall through. Alright, how much of this? Uh, I got two stacks plus six. Oh, what was it? There we go. Keep it all together. This should be enough to do everything I need. I'm guessing I'll need these for at least the weapon, maybe? I am not sure about that. Oh, a sofa. Sure. I already got the cover, don't I? Oh, I don't. Sweet. We got drafting table. We got ourselves a wide brook cupboard. It's not really a cupboard. Not, like, in the sense that I know a cupboard. These are nice, so look at these. That's some fancy stuff there. Too fancy for me. But I'm in this world because this world had a lot more uh, titanium that was easily reached. And the last place where the boss is, or the where the watcher is, man. That level's scary. Trying to run around, you got holes everywhere. Floating islands. That's hard to reach. I wonder if there's there is two portals here in there because you have the the main boss portal and then you got the portal that leads to the next ah uh, well I guess I'll be right back lost the internet connection again it could be the storm coming in all right I'll be right back when I can get this sorted all right guys we're back. I think the storm is playing havoc somewhere. Let's see how long this connection lasts before it get kicked off again. That's no fun. I'll keep that little bit in there so you guys know that I just got kicked off the internet. Or the game. I, I was still connected to the internet, but my connection was really slow for a moment there. And I think I fixed it for the, for the meantime. So let's see how long this will last before... Before I can end the episode. Oh, I don't want it to end very quickly. That wasn't a very long uh, episode. Six minutes, yeah. I like that multi shot. Look at that uh, that damage. Oh. Wow, that did not hit me. I got stuck on this tree and it was like, nope. I got saved. Man, these guys are kind of annoying because they leave that like light behind and it's like a little like little mines all right so I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check out what that quest is real fast I, I think it was a uh, blacksmith in the last episode all right seems like every day there's like errands to do it's like I'm trying to upload record do all my editing and stuff yes I do editing I know it doesn't seem like it but there is editing in my videos jump cuts and whatnot I don't do a huge amount of jump cuts because it's a let's play channel 
I try not to. Oh, and I, uh, I ordered some business cards. So I got 500 of them coming for $20. It was like $28. But hopefully I can get some more subscribers that way. And if you find my videos, guys, make sure to subscribe. You know, help out my channel a little bit. It's very slow going. I know it, it it's expected to be slow going. I guess I'm not playing anything interesting or as interesting as everybody wants, you know. Most people like watching the new stuff, but I can't costly afford new stuff. So you got to make money first to be able to get the new stuff, and I can't not at the moment. I'm unemployed, sadly. It's hard to work with my wife working the way she is. She's like constantly gone. Barely get to see my wife at all. And that's the reason why I had to quit my job. Because I can't drive, you know, and I was never taught to drive. It, and I'm kind of afraid of it, to be honest with everybody. I'm uh, not afraid of my inability to drive. I'm afraid of everybody else's around me. And this has come from somebody that's been in several wrecks since he was a kid. And I was never the one driving, so it kind of puts a damper on wanting to learn. I know that stuff happens, but hey, maybe sometime in the future I will. And I don't think I'm not, uh, I'm in a, in, incapable of driving. I know all the steps and I know what to do, it's just, just never took the test or anything. And so, being that as the case, my wife usually gets me back and forth to work here and there. And when she's being the manager, where she works now, her hours are so just all over the place sporadic and because they are I can't work it's hard to work when you can't get back and forth to work you know I can always walk but where I live there's not very many options to in a walking distance all right Wallace the Spelter my apprentice left for Fort Finch thanks he'll thanks he'll become a mighty warrior there ha huh. Now I don't have enough titanium ore to finish my, an order of titanium bars. Can you m lend me a hand? But how many you want, dude? Good to see at least some people still hold their honored dear. I am much obliged. You know you'd make a good smelter. I have a position open. Look at that EXP. Eight. Okay, so eight chunks. So I'm guessing it's, he made two bars. Four pieces make one bar. But look, that last place I got 15,000. This was 30,000. It was easy. And it gave me the bars back. So I didn't lose anything. Guys, that was actually worth the 30,000 EXP. That was awesome. Need more quests like that. But yeah, please, uh, if, you, if you run across this video and you make it this far in my video, guys, make sure to subscribe. Support my channel. If you like what you see, then, you know, if you want to see more and whatnot, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Because I'm going to I upload daily, not unless something drastic happens. And I, and I am unable to upload. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the homestead real fast here I want to get I want to collect up a few more of this just because I don't know how expensive it's going to be for the uh, this next set of armor and weapons I'm thinking it's the last tier maybe because there's only one boss left what else is left well besides the watcher of course but if you think about it what else is left in the game and I haven't run across that big slime because on the PS4 version I was playing, I ran into a, a secret boss. It was like a slime. A very large slime. How much EXP does that? I didn't even see how much that gave me. Dude. Oh, well, look how much damage these guys do. Wow. Wow, that's some good EXP. It's a good leveling up right here. Alright, so before I head to the house, I'm going to just take out some dudes real fast. We're, we're, we're kind of close to a level up now. 
And I'd rather level up now instead of waiting around. I'd like to hit max level, which I do believe is 30. Ah. He leaves mines behind, so do not roll through these guys. It seems like any enemy at this point in the game and onwards kind of do they don't allow you to roll through them because they leave mines behind or like those skeleton zoos they kind of have a ball attached to their hip or something that hurts you every time you try to go through them so a word of advice from Papa Meerkat do not roll at this uh, roll through the enemies to protect yourself from hits because you'll damage yourself a lot more <laughs> good somber advice but I think I got a whole plenty of this stuff every time I see it I just want to keep mining it I need to stop mining it for a, for a moment and let's go after some enemies did you guys see that shooting star oh there's another one nice there was an old saying when I grew up that uh, if you see a shooting star in the sky, you can make a wish. So if you see a shooting star, guys, make a wish. And hopefully it'll come true. Well, don't leave those mines behind, man. So I roll backwards when it comes to these dudes. I roll backwards. Don't want to get hit by them because they do take a lot of damage. A uh, little over three hearts. Oh, well, oh, I haven't seen a slime in a while. Um, are you invincible? Bait him into swinging. I roll backwards. And done. D don't immediately, after you take him down, he'll drop his loot. Don't immediately to walk into those guys and pick up the loot because they leave those mines behind. How much does this guy give me? 700? For a slime, I guess that's okay. I think I've gotten better on a different slime before. Hey, plant dude. Those multi strikes, though, they're pretty good. Three thousand EXP for those uh, those plants. That is definitely worth it. They need to drop thirty thousand EXP like that one quest. Man, that's some good numbers to see. Still getting over this cold stuff. I don't know what it was. I, I seriously thought I was not going to be able to record. So it felt like I was getting some kind of strep throat or something. Right now my throat is itchy and I'm trying not to cough. And that's the hardest part of this whole thing right now. Trying not to cough is harder than that watcher boss. And it's daytime even though you can't really tell. Look at all that EXP from those plants. They are definitely worth it. Look at that EXP. I'm almost there. Almost leveled up. And then we're going to go to the home. And we're going to see what it's going to cost to upgrade everything. Because I haven't upgraded any of the tables. I haven't done nothing. So I don't know what it all requires. I just remember, I think the uh, anvil, I think it is, or the furnace requires the celestial stones. And I kind of gave up on that whole Easter egg hunting thing. Been too busy. You're like, oh, you're a YouTuber. How are you busy? Well, I am a father and a husband. I do stuff around the house like clean and cook and whatnot. So I got a lot more on my plate than most people think. I may not be as busy as my poor wife. Constantly slaving over at where she works. Which sucks. Do I have a broke bed? It doesn't sound good. <laughs> a broke bed. 
Eh. But why would I want a broke bed? I want a bed that works. All right. And uh, if and there's another suggestion I would like to hear from you guys in the comments below. Tell me what games you would like to see after I'm done with uh, Portal Knights. Because I need some suggestions. I've been thinking, I've been mulling over it myself trying to figure out what should I play next. Because I am kind of getting close to the end of Portal Knights. I do want to try to go after all them quests and get them done like I have stated before. There's a lot of quests we left behind. Not to mention this dungeon that's close to me right now. In there. Remember that place? It's full of those uh, skeletons that don't die. Oh yeah, they get knocked down, but they don't stay down. It kind of reminds you of uh, Dry Bones from Mario World. I haven't run into a red portal either. Where, where do I find the red portals? I'm at pretty much the end of the game. What's the point of the red ones? Not unless... After you take out the final boss in this area. And then you find out there's new portals open up because that's not the real final boss. Ooh, a mystery. Because if you look at the map here, I'm this close to the boss. How many more portals are there that leads to the red portal? Is the from here to the red portal? Because I'm getting red portal shards, but... I have not seen one red portal. Hmm. The the mystery thickens. Oh jeez. Oh, that's scary. I just fall down the hole. Multi strike, multi strike. Yeah, all of them. Every attack should be a multi strike. Nothing would survive. How many red portal shards do I have? I got a bunch. I do have a bunch. Green portal shards, not so much. Not even at home. <laughs> Alright. Been pretty much used them up. These plants are the ones that's worth fighting. I'm almost there, guys, and then we're gonna move on. So pretty much this is uh talk to my fans, talk to you guys episode. It'd be better if I could stream all this, but I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to streaming. Never done it before. Uh, I need to, though. Well, that only gave me 2,000 EXP. What? I got ripped off a plant, dude. Yep, no, that was definitely over 3,000. If you see like one big yellow cube plus two small ones, you know it's over 3,000. Go down, man, go down. Well, well, he's not taking as much damage as the other dudes. But he was worth less. What? I'm confused. I gotta check something on the map here. Should we move on here and see what... Yeah, let's go. It's probably level 29. I didn't even look. <laughs> Ooh, mystery. And scary at the same time. <coughs> Try not to cough here. Alright, I'm gonna take me a drink. If you hear a hiss, you know why. Oh, it didn't really hiss. So like Steve from uh, 19 uh, the 1985 or whatever MRE info dude. What is it? what the? Welcome to the volcano world. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so this level of this place is level 28. Zero portal, stargazer, star maggot, gleaming blossom, moon pearl, titanium or coal block, celestial stone, jelly berry bush. Sounds like something. Ah, uh, here we go again. All right, guys, I'm gonna be right back again. We had more online problems. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 
just got kicked off the internet again. Yeah, I don't know how long I can do this episode when I came and stay online. I'm getting some problems here. That's twice now in one episode that I've been kicked off of the game. And I noticed my uh, dagger was broken. It's probably why I was not doing no damage there at the last that last plant. But we got some celestial stone here. We got coal and we got uh, titanium and the moonstone stuff. So there we go. And I'm thinking these guys. Oh, these dudes look familiar. Those right there. Aren't these the same thing that the watcher launch at you? Yep. They're the same ones that uh, that the launcher or the the launcher. The Watcher shoots at you, his little minions. Now I can I can practice. Oh yes, yay! Level up. But I can practice fighting these guys to help practice fight uh, or to learn the, the patterns of fighting the old Watcher. Because it was them that really kicked my butt, and then he shot me and took me out. I definitely need the upgrades on weapons and stuff. Ooh, a shop way out here, man. Why would you be all the way out here? Oh, I see. See this uh, this planet? This means that this one sells probably these. Not that one, but these over here. These are worlds you can buy. Deeds. A customer. Welcome. Take a look at my fine products. My, my woman voice is pretty bad. A title deed for Vacant Volcano Island. Vacant Hollow Islands Island. Vacant Crystal Island, that's kind of cool. Asteroids. Ooh, I want this asteroid one. Uh, vacant Red Planet Island. Alright, we're going to get the Red Planet one. And we're going to get the... Uh, We got the the hollow lands and the vacant asteroid. Kind of, uh, hmm. What what do you guys think? If only you guys could tell me while I'm playing this. Another thing about me doing uh, live streaming. We got dark roof tile blocks. These are these these are awesome looking. I like these and these two. All right, we're gonna get this uh, asteroid one. I kind of want to buy them all, but I'm going to wait. And I'm going to go and loot your your stuff here. What do you got? Nothing. First of all, I'm going to go in here and we're going to do... A customer, yeah, same. Same what she said earlier. I'm going to sell some stuff here. This right here, I can sell that. Uh, I can't sell any of the other stuff. Dungeon, cage, floor, I'll sell that. I'm okay with that can't use these so I will sell all these it's not worth much anyways I will sell this bone because yuck not like I got like four stacks at home uh, all this rest of stuff I do not want to get rid of I hope I don't get kicked off again all right let's head back home we're gonna see what it's gonna cost me for upgrading Why'd I go all the way around like that? Guys, sometimes my, my I don't think. <laughs> all I had to do was just go to the right a little bit instead of all the way to the left. Derp. I wonder how uh, crazy the last boss is in this game. Or is it the is it the last boss? Hmm, questions. And these enemies are nothing to me now. Especially if I get the uh, titanium set. They're definitely going to be nothing to me. Alright, so what I need to do is upgrade this. What's it going to cost me? It costs me 10 celestial embers, uh, 40 wood, that's a lot of wood, and 2 titanium bars. I can go ahead and do this now. And yay! It looks like iron, or just silver. It looks weak, man. Alright, right. titanium masterwork dirk. 155. Masterwork ballista. Use requires Ranger level 26. Deals light elemental. I just leveled up too. I wouldn't have been able to use this at the the my last episode. 
Oh, multi strike chance. Additional strikes plus one. What? Ah, oh, I do have these. Moon. Oh, oh, I got all this, guys. I can make the master work. But is it. It's not any better. Okay, uh, health regeneration plus 18 and health 91. What's this give? Critical strike damage and chance, which is good. Because you can get some serious damage. And I leveled up, so let's go ahead and max out our damage. Ooh. Damage is maxed. And when I hit level 30, I will get that last deal down here. Survival instinct, exploit, weakness, and combo swing. So that's probably what I'm going to work for, is getting that stuff. Alright, open. What do we got in here? We got some titanium here, so let's take that back. We got some of this crystal thread. We got enough here. What I did not look at is the armor. Alright, ceaseless champion cap. 134 for the hat. 160. Okay. Um, is there anything better? What is this? 134. Two sixty nine for the body piece, three hundred. Guys, I don't think this stuff's any good. Leech, double jump, leech, leech chance, dark damage resistance. That would be good though. Oh, jeez, game. What is going on? Well. I'm going to try one more time, guys, and then we're probably going to end the episode there. I want to at least build the armor and stuff. And I can still hear Jonesy meowing away. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to see if we can uh, at least sign in once more. I'm having some serious internet problems. Can we do it? I'm not even going to cut here. I already cut twice in this episode. For online issues, I'm just going to let this one play through. We are getting, well, there's some time going to be, it's not. It's going to be a bit shorter of an episode because we're having some technical issues. Don't know what is going on. But I want to at least build that masterwork set, or that, that bow like to build the full I don't know if I should build that full set of armor though there is one thing good about that armor is that it's dark protection which would be awesome all right I need to go here oh I need to upgrade this table dang it sun diamonds and titanium bars I don't have very much time I keep getting knocked off the game sun diamonds where are you Gotta be over here. There they are. And titanium bars. Which requires this coal. And I can't. Uh, celestial stone blocks times 80. Game. You're too expensive. I got a little bit here. I got 36. Do I have any more? Somewhere. In this mess of inventory. I'm thinking about building a house off to the side to put all my pets in because they are uh, piling up in my house here pretty bad let's take the rest of these I need everything I can get here is that all the celestial blocks I have yep that's literally all I got 30 something of them well let's go and farm some more and this said this has celestial stone blocks, so we're gonna go and get a bunch. It costs 80. That is a lot. Wow. I got 36. I thought I had enough. Because I've been collecting it, but apparently I did not. Well, we have coal here too, if we need to collect up the coal. And this should be celestial blocks here. Yep. On a mining adventure. That's probably going to be the title of this episode. Mining adventures and quests or something. Sounds like a plan to me. 
say chatting, chatting with fans, suggestions, and mining ex expedition. I'm gonna try to hurry. I'm, I'm gonna get kicked off again. I know it. What's wrong with the internet connection? Now they said strong thunderstorms. And I'm thinking what's going on is that somewhere wherever the storms are coming from is where my internet connection is coming from. And they're having problems on their side too. I'm just blindly going through all this. I'm getting a lot of EXP for mining too. It's 1400. I keep clicking the mouse button. I don't need to click. I just hold it down. Just got to be careful not to dig too straight down as you just fall through the world. Oh, I made it inside the volcano. Ooh. There's something in here. What is that? No worm. No worm. Don't bother me. There's a dungeon down here. Inside the volcano. That is cool. Some of the aesthetics in this game are pretty cool. It looks a little cartoony and whatnot, but I I like it. It's pretty cool. Is that like the water physics or the water? Not really the physics. That kind of strange. Because I have messed with the water on the PS4. Me and my son was talking about trying to make a river, and it was weird. It, it works. It's better than Minecraft, I guess. It you could say. It's similar to Terraria in the same kind of physics that it'll move from a higher plane. Like say if I have water right here, build a channel downwards, it, the water will drain out of here and fill up down here. But it's really slow. Almost like it's not even water, more like a, um, a syrup or something. But the, the way the water looks is cool. They did a good job in the way it looks. I heard that in uh, that one game I've been I was playing, I can't always go back to card life because I was waiting for a big update and there was a big update that came out recently and they added water, if you can call it that. It's a it's a solid form of water like ice, and you can collect it in blocks. It's kind of weird. Not a lot of people like that particular aspect of card life, but. The rest of the update fixes a bunch of the problems I was having pr previously in my videos where I was falling through the planet and random stuff like that. So I can always go back to card life if you guys want me to. So if you're watching this and you want to see me play card life and put it down there in the uh, in the comments. Kind of hiccup there for a moment. It's hard to say anything. I should have n enough now. Let's see. Celestial stone blocks. Where are you? Where are they? Oh, there they are. 143. Oh, I, I got enough. See? Go right, not left. I still need to do some of that egg hunt because I'm kind of curious about that golden egg. Is it going to be like the one in the Harry Potter where he gets it from the dragon and he opens it up and screams at him? <laughs> well, that'll be a jump scare. So you must under open it underwater, man. Alright. Let's upgrade this puppy up right now. Bam. Now I can smelt titanium. Alright. Bars, bars, more bars. There we go. Alright, so I need I want to make six of these for now. Actually, let's just go ahead and make 15. Feel safer with 15. <coughs> so I can upgrade that table outside. That's going to allow me to make the moon dust. And then I can take that moon dust and the uh, fiber that I got. So I got the fiber. I got the moon stones. I just need to turn it to dust. And I'll have these. Then I can update, upgrade that table outside and then make the bow. And I don't know, should I make the set of armor? It's weaker than my armor, but I get double jump back and I get dark protection. Huh. But it is so much weaker than mine. Alright, go ahead and click some of this. Let's go outside while that's finishing up and 
Let's get ourselves an upgrade on this table. Okay, yeah. Master of Magic. So, I, yep. That pretty much proves that that little uh, achievement down there is saying Master of Magic, saying that this is the final upgrade. Yep, there's no more upgrades. It says upgrade to Altar 4. I gain additional recipes. I did. Weird. Alright, so I'll go here and then I can make Moon Opal Dust. And how much was it that I needed for that uh, masterwork? Wasn't it four or six? For some reason, I can't remember. Alright, masterwork. And masterwork, did it, it costs four. Alright. We're about to get upgraded, ladies and gentlemen. Upgraded all the way. I might make that dagger too. That might be a good idea. Okay, so dust. I need that. Two and four. There we go. So we can make Archmage Fireball. Masterwork far, uh, Frost Storm. Archmage Heal. Ooh. But look at that cost of mana. Good, a, lot, a good amount of uh, health regain. Light Bomb. It makes a burst of light energy in a big radius. Thank you. Masterwork bow, here we come. I do like these daggers though. And I might make these daggers right here. This uh, titanium masterwork. Because it does have melee damage resistance. Melee damage plus 46%. Deal earth elemental damage. Shark versus electro. Fast forward. Which one was it? Multi-strike. There it is. Usage requires ranger level 26. Deals light elemental damage. Shark versus dark. This doesn't say that. Should I make this? But is it going to be slower? Well, let's go ahead and stick with the Masterwork Bow for now. Instead of making the Dagger, I'm going to make this Titanium Masterwork Ballista. If I don't get kicked off, I can make that right now. Let's see, we need 3 Sun Diamond Dust and 10 of these Celestial Ambers. Did I use up all my Ambers? I thought I had a bunch. Okay, where'd my embers go? I need those diamonds. Sun diamonds. Do I need to go get some more embers real quick? I want to try out that blister. Let's see, sun embers. Uh, here we go. Need three of this. One, two, and three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Internet problems. They're saying as slow as, slow as dirt. I don't know if that makes any sense. Thank you. So, we need to go back and get some more ambers. Let's go... Well, not here. I want to go back to this place. There's more tree options. We're going to go get, our, get ourselves some of those ambers. We need ten. I thought I had a bunch, though. Where did they, where did they all go? Did I put them away somewhere? And just forgot about it? Alright, let's just do it this way then. Give me embers. All day embers. There's one. There's none. There's none again. There's a dirt. Great. Come on, embers. I need ten of them, please. Quickly. Two. Does these give embers? Um, maybe? I don't know. Yes. Everything here gives embers. Off camera, I'm definitely going to build some more chests because my inventory space is destroyed. I have nowhere to put any of this stuff. Don't get near the plant. Oh, man. Oh, I got an idea. Ah! Did I even take that bow? Yeah, I did. Great. Plant. Whoa, you see that? It shoots multiple shots. It automatically does that. That is cool. It doesn't seem to do as much damage per shot as the uh, dagger does. Because it got 60s and whatnot in there. But it always shoots multiple shots. It doesn't have a chance of multi-shot. It always is. Right. Got 13. 
That's enough for now. I can come back to farm that stuff anytime I want off camera or on camera if you guys want to see those, all that stuff. I don't mind that. Like right now, we're doing that right now. So if you guys don't mind seeing me going on uh, mining adventures or you know resource collecting or building new materials or upgrades, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so uh, I need to build this. Deals light elemental damage, and I'm wonder that's why I want to build it. You get this plus this, and then this light elemental damage versus dark. The uh, watcher is dark. Alright, I do like those daggers though. Alright, so dagger, time for you to leave. So let's see, it has this light icon. So I'm going to do it like this. And we're going to go fire at something. We're going to see what kind of damage we can do here. So the max damage in this game, not unless I find something in a chest somewhere that's better, is 155. Hey, you. Um, okay, um... It shoots a slow-moving projectile that blows up on impact and normal damage 188 hmm kinda worried about that slow projectile can I get him from here? no too far how fast can I fire? pretty fast but the projectiles are a bit slow well they're about the same aren't they? Nope, they're a little bit slower. So they're a little bit slower and they have a, uh, a bit more of an arc. And they seem to fall pretty quickly. But the damage is pretty good. Alright, so if I shoot this guy with this one. 128 plus 48. Zeros, 34, 61. Seems like the damage is all over the place. For this bow, but I like the multi strike chance. It, or actually, it's all the time. Did that just home at that enemy? It seemed like that shot homed at the enemy. Alright, I got I got something to test real fast. If they home at something I'm targeting, that's pretty pretty good actually. Let's find another enemy here. It's almost daytime. That guy's about to disappear. So if I target some, yeah, he disappeared. Come on, give me a slime or something. Game? Something? Something to fight? Oh, there we go. So if I target this guy, does it follow... I couldn't really tell. Does that follow the enemy? Because if these shots home... That is actually quite powerful. Okay, one test to do real fast. We're gonna go shoot at a plant. And we're gonna we're gonna lock on first before firing, which is the right mouse key or button. I'm gonna home uh, lock on then fire and see if the shots home at the enemy. If they're if they're uh, seeking the enemy instead of manual aim that is awesome means I can target that boss and hopefully take him out a little bit better alright so slime see it's aiming at the enemy can I do that with this alright lock on the plant nope it's the same Multi-strike. What is the multi-strike chance on that dagger? Okay, we got 17 to 27. Multi-strike chance is 17. So this one has a higher multi-strike chance. Right here, 18. I kind of like the blister, but it seems like I have to get used to the slower projectiles. That's pretty much the problem I'm going to run into. 
but I can practice it a bit and hopefully I can get better at it. I was thinking these shots homed at the enemy. I think that'd be awesome. Oh, multi shot. Multi shot. Alright, I think I'm going to use this for the boss, plus a little bit of this to take out the little flying cronies that he spawns. Alright, guys. Well, alright, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. We've had some technical issues. We've have a, we're having a little bit of internet problems right now. I don't know what's causing it. I think it's just the incoming storm. Or the encroaching storm, if you will. So I'm going to end it here. And next week we're going to try to fight that Watcher boss. And uh, in between now and the first episode next week, which will be next Thursday, I'm going to uh, try to build a little arena around that island where the Watcher is because it's kind of scary fighting that boss in the location he is right now so i'm gonna try to i'm uh i'm going to guarantee that i'm going to die several times trying to build this arena but who needs money anyways that's all you lose is a little bit of money so the thing is what i'm going to do is try to build a small arena and then on thursday you'll i'll try to fight him on thursday and uh, before we go after the final boss on friday and saturday i'm going to try to just go back and do a bunch of quests and see if we can get some more EXP built up. And, and then we'll be ready for the final boss. And then uh, if you guys would like to suggest any new games to play on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If you want me to go back to Card Life or something new, let me know. Please uh, give me some, suggest some suggestions. I can't even say that word for some reason. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. And I, and I encourage you guys to do so. i got all kinds of adventures planned. For my channel and uh you don't want to miss any of them because all the, the antics and the weirdness i am the quirkiness i guess and uh if you like my commentary you find it helpful funny or entertaining hit that like button to show you support and if you didn't guys still hit that like button because i'm still learning and i'm still honing my skill and next to that subscribe button you'll see a bell icon you hit that bell icon and you'll become part of the meerkat nation notification squad and when you become part of that uh, exclusive club, everything I upload, you'll get notifications for so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. All right, guys. Well, each and every one of you have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.